Hey guys, this is that Review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Incipio NGP case for the fourth generation iPod Touch. NGP stands for Next Generation Polymer and it's basically a fancy word for a sort of refined TPU material. So the case itself will not fade or become sticky. It's ultra thin and impact resistant and it provides access to all controls and buttons. So let's open up the packaging and I'll show you what it comes with. Incipio always throws in some goodies with their cases so I'm a big fan of that. Not as much switch easy, but it's always great to get some bang for your buck. So here is the video stand. First, what we get. It's actually for the iPhone 3GS and the fourth generation iPod Touch. So you can actually just place your iPod right there and watch a movie. Within the case, we get a little screen shield kit. So if you do have an iPod Touch and you don't have any case or anything, my thing about picking up an Insavio case is it does come with a screen shield kit, a squeegee, and a microfiber cloth, which is always great. This case does come in four colors. It comes in the one we have right here, which is a matte turquoise. It comes in matte black, it comes in matte magenta, and it comes in translucent mercury, which is sort of a gray color. So let's take a look at the case itself without the iPod. As you can see, it does feature a nice translucent back with a matte finish, which is does feel great in the hand, provides some grip. In comparison to the spec see through satin though, this case is a lot slimmer, but it does feature a lot of the same cutouts and a lot of the same buttons. Even the camera cutouts pretty similar. So protection wise, the spec see through satin offers a little bit more because of the hard plastic on the inside, but the Incivio NGP is a lot easier to put on and it keeps a slimmer profile. So at the bottom we do have a cutout for the 30 pin dock connector, the speaker, and the headphone jack. On the left hand side we do have a cutout for the volume up and down buttons. Sorry, it's a rubber covering. And at the top we have another rubber covering for the power button and a nice ample cutout for the camera. So let's get the iPod in here as you guys should know by now. I do have a back shield and a front shield for my screen and it fits just fine. So I like to go in button size first and just push it up and there's the final result. Now what I like most about this case is that it does feature that translucent design that lets you see the iPod, the Apple logo and also read some of the information right down there. You can see the Incipio logos etched right there. It's a nice glossy design so it looks different from the matte. And the matte finish is not as rough as the one on the Spec C3, which I like a little bit better because it's more grippy. But it still feels nice. It's a little bit finer, so it's a little bit, it's not as grippy as the Spec C3 satin, but it still feels good in the hand. As you can see, the case does have cutouts, like I said, and it does feature a nice lay on the table design all around. It's not as rubbery as the one on Spec C through Satin, so if you place it down, it's a little bit smaller, but it still lifts the screen up off the table. So now let's take a look at all the cut all the cutouts and the buttons. At the bottom, one large cutout for the 30 pin dock connector, the speaker, and the headphone jack. As you can see, this little flap right here is very loose, which is one of the cons on this case. So over time this might get a little bit loose and it could potentially snap. On the right hand side you do have a nice cover uh, for the volume up and down. That works just fine. It's super responsive. Same as the little covering right up here as you can see. It's very responsive and it works just fine. As you can see you can press that. It feels just like the regular button. At the back you do have a cutout for the camera and the microphone and that works just fine. It's ample enough to allow you space for both the microphone and the camera without any interference. So this case does retail for $24.99 and overall I am pleased with the case. You do get what you pay for. You get a screen shield kit, you do get the little video stand and the case itself is fantastic. The only major problem I see with it is the fact that this piece right here is a little saggy and the fact that the finish on the back isn't as uh, rough or as grippy as the one on the see-through sign, but for $24.99 with everything you get, you do get a nice low profile slim case, which offers great scratch protection as well as some minimal drop protection, features nicely on the table design and has that great look on the back. Overall guys, I think it's a terrific buy and I definitely recommend it for someone that's looking for a single case as it includes basically everything you need just to start off with your iPod. So. Thanks a lot for watching guys and stay tuned for more. Remember to check them out at www.myincipio.com and I'd like to thank Valerie for sending out this product for reviewing purposes. Thanks a lot for watching guys and stay tuned for more. Cheers.